Hello, welcome to ExcelExperts.com. Teach Yourself Excel Lesson 8. Today we're going to learn about data validation. This will help you reduce the possibility of typos and reduce the amount of time it takes you to enter data. To follow along with this, you go to ExcelExperts.com. You click on Teach Yourself Excel. And from that menu, you choose Data Validation. Let's go there now. If you're dipping in and out of the course, you can download the starting sheet there and then follow along immediately with whatever else is left. Let's go to our spreadsheet. And we've entered some headings. So now we want to enter some data. So there's three expenses we're going to enter. 12 May... 06, 16 May 06, 17 May 07, 06. Okay, expense type, eating out. I like eating out. Computer and eating out again. Is it necessary as an expense? Well, eating out, nah, not really, but I like it. Computer, well, that really is quite essential because I need a computer. And this one? No. The description, well, uh, there I went to Shay Patrick. This was a new laptop. The other one got stolen in a burglary. And this was a pub lunch. The amounts, let's go over here, check those. 10,420. And having entered all of that data now, one thing that has occurred to me is I typed eating out twice and I had to spell it correctly each time. I also typed false twice. If I'm entering hundreds and hundreds of these expenses, surely it makes sense just to have a, a drop-down menu where I choose one of the expense types. So let's show you how to do that. If we go data, data validation we can then choose list and type as our source eating out comma computer if I click OK I then have an option on this cell that says what I can enter I, I can choose computer I can choose eating out well, that's pretty useful. If I want to apply that to whole column, I'll just click on the column. Yes. And there we go. So now everything in this column has the same data validation. So entering future expenses should be a lot quicker. Also, in order to speed up, I can just use the keyboard by pressing Alt, holding it down, and pressing the down arrow. I can then press the down arrow once again and go up and down and scroll between the options in this menu. And I can do the same for was it necessary? Click on the column or select cell C1 and press control space. Data validation list source false comma true. Click OK and here we have the same thing there. So that was lesson eight on data validation.